Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a maple leaf or a leaf that's changing colors for the fall. I'm going to take one finger at the top towards the right and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way down towards the left. And I'm going to come up about mid, no probably three-fourths of the way and I'm going to mimic that line and then connect with a straight line. I come back to the top to the point and I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line out, curve line up on the left. I stop right there and I bring a curve line down, curve line down, curve line down on the left. I draw a big curve line out, curve line in, curve line down, curve line in, and connect. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to try and mimic what I just draw, drew. So I'm going to start off with a curve line down, a big curve line out, curve line in, curve line down, curve line down, big curve line, up, curve line, curve line down, up, down, connect. I come inside and I'm going to draw curve line up, curve line up, curve line up on the left, and come down and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line up, curve line up on the right. Okay, that's basically the drawing part. Now we're going to color. Okay, when I color, I'm going to use light to dark. And I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm going to go around my lines, because I'm going to double color, triple color, quadruple color my whole entire leaf. So first I'm going to put down a coat of yellow. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just following the lines that I drew. I'm not coloring it in solid because I want my other three colors to also show. But you always work light to dark. So I'm starting off with my yellow. I'm going to put a little bit around my edges and I'm going to put a couple of lines on my stem. Okay. Next color, orange. Same thing. Now you're going to be able to see this a little bit better. And I'm doing a loop-de-loop -loop line which is going around and around. I'm not coloring solid. I want a little bit of my yellow to show. That's why if I do that loop-de-loop -loop line, it's not a solid color. And it gives you little circles that are filled in with color. So first I started with my yellow. Now I'm doing my orange and I'm still doing the same thing. I'm going around the edges of my leaf. And now the black lines of the veins. And I'm making sure I get a little bit of my orange over the whole thing. And now I'm going to add some orange lines down here on the stem. Next color is kind of a yellow, I mean a red orange. And on this one, I'm just going to do the sections that have points. So I just come in and I add some color on my points. That's this section right here this section right here. Maybe put some down on the bottom, on the left, and on the right. You can bring it up. I think I'll add some over here. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw some darker lines 
along the black lines I just drew. And I'm going to add some of this color at the base of this stem. Now my last color I'm going to use is brown. And the brown I'm going to go over the other three colors. It's the last color because it's the darkest. And I'm still doing my loop-de-loop, roundy-roundy, textured coloring line. But I'm going over everything that I've already done all the way up both sides and once I've done this I can always come back in and add more color if I think it needs it. Okay? That's not quite done. Let's see what one looks like when it is done. Okay, here's my leaf all colored in, ready for fall and the changing of the leaves, the seasons. And even looking at this now, I can see how I could still add a little bit more brown. Okay, bye-bye.